All right, Chief, thank you. A historic day for the state's economy. Employers are adjusting to new payroll as today marks the first day of the minimum wage increase. Our own Alex Minky shares what this could mean for the local economy now. The new minimum wage in the Old Prairie State is $10 for employees over 18, $8 for teens, and $6 for employees who get tips. Not all businesses I talked with say these increases are doable for them right now. It can be really challenging. We're faced with a lot of challenges right now in this community, and this is another one. The president and CEO of the Greater Peoria Business Alliance, Joshua Gunn, admits the change comes at an inconvenient time considering the pandemic put most in jeopardy. But the Los Combos owner says you have to be flexible with your business plan. You know, as a business owner, you have to make a week plan, you have to make a month plan, you have to do you know a year plan, five-year plan, ten-year plan. I mean, that's just that's part of running a business. Gunn says a more equitable economy could be better for a community in the long run. The value of paying your employees a living wage in that it does come back to your economy and increased ability for people to spend and purchase goods and support other businesses um, cannot be overstated. Tavoya added if something has to be changed about the bottom line, at least it's going to her staff. This last payroll, we, you know, bumped everybody up and they were happy about it, of course, and we're you know, happy to, you know, pay a living wage um, so that they can raise their families just like we can as owners. National companies are also taking a look at the minimum wage increase. Target has already announced all employees are now making $15 an hour, something not scheduled to be mandatory in Illinois until 2025. Duncan employees are seeing an increase, but menu prices will follow suit. Reporting in Peoria, I'm Alex Minky.